Hello and welcome to this week's Toddler Time. Shall we start off by singing the song that we've done for the last couple of weeks? Great, great, brill, brill. Remember that one? I'll go slow in case you're new and you don't yet know the words. Great, great, brill, brill. Wicked, wicked skill, skill. To have a friend like Jesus. Great, great, brill, brill. Wicked, wicked skill, skill. To have a friend like him. He's always there, he always listens, he always hears me when I talk to him. He loves me now and will forever, and I'll live for him every day, day, day. And it's great, great, real, real, wicked, wicked skill, skill, to have a friend like Jesus. Great, great, real, real, wicked, wicked skill, skill, to have a friend like him. He's always there, he always listens, he always hears me when I talk to him. <coughs> he loves me now and will forever, and I'll live for him every day, day, day. It's great, 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 real, real, wicked, wicked, skill, skill, to have a friend like Jesus. Great, great, real, real, wicked, wicked, skill, skill, to have a friend like him once more. Great, great, real, real, wicked, wicked, skill, skill, to have a friend like Jesus. Great, great, real, real, wicked, wicked, skill, skill, to have a friend like him. Now, our story today is about someone that nobody liked. But because Jesus' love is so wonderful, Jesus loved him. Before I tell you that story, should we sing Jesus' love is very wonderful? Do you remember? Stretching up high, going down as low as you can, reaching out wide. Ready? Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high you can't get over it. So low you can't get under it. So wide you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high you can't get over it. So low you can't get under it. So wide you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Well done. Do you remember this one? One, two, three, Jesus loves me. One, two, Jesus loves you. Three, four, he loves you more than you've ever been loved before. Five, six, seven, we're going to heaven. Eight, nine, it's truly divine. Nine, ten, it's time to end. But there's time to sing it again. One, two, three, Jesus loves me. One, two, Jesus loves you. Three, four, he loves you more than you've ever been loved before. Five, six, seven, we're going to heaven. Eight, nine, it's truly divine. Nine, ten, it's time to end. There's no time to sing it again. Well, this week's story happened maybe a few days or a few weeks before Jesus's last week of his life, where we have the first Palm Sunday, Good Friday and Easter Day. We might take it, talk about Good Friday and Easter Day in the next couple of weeks or Palm Sunday, perhaps. But today's story is set in a town called Jericho. Now, Jericho was a very happy city. Would you say Cardston's a happy city? Are people nice? Are people friendly? Well, Jericho was full of nice people. And I wonder if you could help me by when I say the word nice, you could give me thumbs up or double thumbs up if you wanted to. Should we have a practice? 
Jericho was a nice city. Everyone got on with everybody else. Well, most people did. But there was one person that nobody liked. There was one person who didn't deserve anybody being nice to him. It was Zack the taxman. Well, why was that, do you think? Zack was a thief, which means he stole things. He stole money off everyone. He stole money off nice old men. He stole money off nice old ladies. He stole money off nice young men. And he stole money off nice young ladies. He stole money off nice mums and nice dads. Now, I wonder if you could think of some jobs that perhaps your dads do or other people do for their job. Do you want to shout some out? Perhaps fireman or butcher, um, teacher. I wonder what other names you called out. Do you know what? Zach stole money off nice ca carpenters. He stole money off nice builders. He stole money off nice shepherds. He stole money off nice fishermen. He stole money off nice teachers. He even stole money off nice old Mr. Benjamin, who only owned two goats and one old bucket. I'll have that bucket, said Zack. And he did. So you see, Zack was not very nice. The more horrible he was, the more nasty people were to him. And the more nasty people were to him, the more horrible he became. And the more horrible he became, the more nasty people were to him. And so it went on and on. Until one day, guess who came to Jericho? Yeah, Jesus. Jesus came to Jericho and everyone rushed to see him. All the nice people in Jericho thought that they wanted to see the nice Jesus so everyone, all the nice people, could be together. But nobody wanted nasty little Zack to be with them. They didn't want nasty old Zack to see Jesus. And so there's a great big crowd following Jesus and they elbowed Zack to the back of the crowd. And because he was small, he couldn't see. He couldn't see over their shoulders. Not only was Zach a tax man, not only was he not very nice, he wasn't very tall either. And he couldn't see, even though he jumped, he couldn't see above their shoulders. But he was determined to see Jesus. And so guess what he did? How do you think he could get to see? What do you think he could get up onto? He climbed something. What do you think he might climb? You're right. He climbed a tree. He climbed a tree and sat in its branches, listening to Jesus. And he could see Jesus. And then Jesus saw him. Jesus looked up. When he saw Zach in the tree, he said, Zach, come down here. I'd like to come to your house for tea. I don't believe it, the nice people said. How can nice Jesus want to go to tea to nasty Zach's house? The crowd of nice people were all horrified. He's a nasty little man, they said. Jesus, you don't want to go to this nasty little man's house. You're a nice person like us. But Jesus took no notice of them. He smiled at Zach and said, come on. It was the first time anyone had been nice to Zach for years. And it was the first time anyone had been to Zach's house for a long, long time. 
The nice people were a bit shocked. They looked at one another and whispered, How can nice Jesus go to nasty Zach's house? I hope Jesus tells Zach what a nasty person he is. But Jesus and Zach just sat down together for tea. Jesus should tell him off, said the nice people to one another. But Jesus and Zach just sat and chatted. After a while, all of a sudden, Zach stood up. He said, Jesus, I've been a very nasty man. I've stolen from all these people. But now I'm going to put it right. I'm going to pay back anyone four times what I stole for them. And if I've got anything left over, I'm going to give half of that away to the poor. I'll even give Mr. Benjamin his old bucket back. Ooh, that's nice, said the nice people. That's very nice. And Jesus said, that's great, Zach. You've been saved. I came to find lost people like you and bring them back to where they should be. We don't know what happened next because Luke doesn't tell us in the Bible. But I bet there was a party. I bet there was a party that all the nice old men and nice old ladies, nice young men and nice young ladies, nice mums and nice dads and nice children, Nice old Mr. Benjamin with his two goats and his old bucket and nice little Zach was so glad that they'd all been together and they'd all met Jesus. Well, that's the end of our story today. And we should always try to be nice to other people, shouldn't we? And if someone is sad or lonely, perhaps they're not very nice because they're sad and lonely. And we should try to be nice to them because Jesus being nice and having this wonderful love so wide you can't get over it, so high you can't get over it, so low you can't get under it. He loved nasty old Zach and Zach changed and became nice little Zach. Well, great to see you again. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.